Oh, you too. It is lovely to see you both. Hello. Hi, how are you guys? How are you doing? Not bad, thank you. You're uh, so beautiful. Oh, bless you. Oh my God. Oh, thanks. Whoa. Oh, you know how to make me feel welcome. Made an effort just for you. Oh, thank you very you have much. have a nice orange glow. I'm very much enjoying <laughs> that. It's, ama it's amazing what a bit of BB cream can do. <laughs> There's so much about courting and all of this in Bridgerton, of course, which has its relevance today. I mean, even I'm trying to date during the pandemic, which is not the easiest thing <laughs> anyway. But I figured I would get a bit of dating advice from you guys. What do you think is the, the most romantic thing a guy can do while he is courting a lady? Like in Ooh. here, obviously, Daphne wants, you know, flowers or she wants him to do his, her, you know, her calf and things like that. What, what would you say is your, your best dating advice? I'd be happy if a man buttoned my cuff. I'd be very happy if a man buttoned You've just my made cuff. that sound like some innuendo. <laughs> it's a skill. It's a curse and a gift. Wouldn't recommend um, pretending to be unavailable. I don't think that's a good way of going about dating. I think it might work in Regency context, but um, yeah, it doesn't quite work now. Someone making you breakfast, but also knowing not to wake you up too early. It's a fine balance. So like mm. when there's times to sleep in, like let's not destroy that. But then like a really lovely cooked breakfast with like a box fizz, that's the dream, right? I think the ability to keep large houseplants alive is a great start. I think you'll do fine if you keep the background. Um, it shows a nurturing nature. It shows a true. generosity and empathy with other living creatures. Like these are the qualities that everyone's looking for. 21st century and 19th. Wow. Um, so I just keep, keep being you. Okay, well, this is going my Insta story, so that you know, <laughs> I have that uh, that nurturing side. What's the most romantic thing? I think the most romantic thing is just to be completely honest. I think that's where romance exists. I think that's what also Bridgerton explored. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, the idea of having to uphold uh, a version of yourself and to be presentational in in how you feel about someone. I think the moment that you you let all that drop and and you can just be present with someone. I think that's. For me, that's the romantic one. That's a very earnest response. But that I is, I... that is. Like, Reggae told me that keeping massive houseplants alive was a good way of... Uh... Classic Reggae, he's going, he's going in with the charm. Is he, he won like you that? over. Is he like <laughs> that on set? Is he genuinely just a bit... I, only in front of amazing people. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, <laughs> you've been snared. I mean, I was, I was completely swept up in... in... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I think is the most romantic thing uh, someone could do is to be your greatest cheerleader. That's what I think. Someone who's like, yeah, my God, you're just so amazing. Keep being amazing. Right? That's what I think. Okay, yes, I love yeah. that. Big cheerleader. I think just being open and, and like, just, yeah, laying it, well, maybe not all on the table, but, but being <laughs> open. <laughs> Make sure the table's God, stable. To, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I probably am not the best person to ask either at the moment, but um, yeah, just being open and yourself and I think that's the, always the best way. That would be something that would be quite interesting to bring forward to 2020, that if you could go on a night out and then the next day all the people that fancied you on the dance floor came out to your house and bought you gifts, I think that'd be quite great. Yeah. I mean, they'd all, they'd all probably be a bit like sort of slow talking, a bit hungover, <laughs> with a bit of McDonald's breakfast hanging out their mouth, but you know, if they brought some chocolates or, you know, uh, yeah. an egg, egg butty, it'd be good. Oh, I'm so I'm so for bringing these uh, traditions from Bridgerton into modern society. That would be wonderful. Yeah, let's do it. 